Well, I was born and raised in Sydney, Australia, and uh, my father was a second generation Australia. He's it came from Liverpool in England, and uh, I, I became interested in geology as a boy. I was uh, eight years old, and we went on a family vacation, and I started. We went to a mining area, and uh, I got hooked with these rock, pretty rocks and crystals, and I started to really take off. That was at the same time that, uh, because of going to church, that I realized my need before God to repent and to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And, you know, I really took off in my interest in geology. By the time I was in high school, I was convinced I was going to be a geologist. And it wasn't long before I realized that this issue of you know, the Bible versus science was, was something that really needed to be worked on. And, and so I you know, sought to read up on the issue. By the time I got to university, I was convinced that the Bible was correct, but I needed the training to be able to speak to the issues. So I went first to the University of New South Wales in Sydney to get a, a, a graduate, a, a, an undergraduate degree in geology, and then went on to the University of Sydney uh, to do my PhD in geology. And when I graduated, I first of all went on to uh, do work with a mining company, well, actually two mining companies in succession. I was based for four and a half years in, in Darwin in Northern Australia and worked throughout Northern Australia in mineral exploration and in field research. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was involved in research with others, uh, subsequently to moving to Brisbane to work with Ken Ham in the creation ministry that, that sprang up in Ken's home back in Australia in the, in the 19, late 70s and uh, work, started working with Ken back in, uh, in the 1983 full time. But at the same time, I was still a consultant to the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organisation on an international collaborative project looking at what happens if we bury nuclear wastes in the ground. And the best way to, to approximate that was to look at a high-grade uranium deposit in the ground. And the one that they chose was the one that I'd done my PhD research on. And involved in that project were scientists from uh, the UK uh, because they were also interested in, in burial of nuclear waste. And I was the geologist on the team giving them advice. There were physicists and chemists and I was helping them take samples. And so I was involved in that project for, for 10 years, even at the same time as I was out speaking on, on, on these issues of uh, creation, the flood and the, and the age of the earth. So I've been involved now for over 30 years in this kind of ministry, but I'm also continue to be involved in research, uh, collecting samples, doing lab work, writing papers, publishing, interacting with other scientists of like mind, because we want to, you know, as Christians, as I said before, the Bible isn't exhaustive. It's given us a framework and God expects us to worship him with his, our minds, to, to use our rational thought to give honor and praise to him. And he's given us dominion over the earth to understand how the earth operates, to use, utilize its resources for the benefit of man. And that's what he did with Adam and Eve. They would attend the garden. So where to tend the earth? And it's not wrong to, to get copper and gold and jewels and all those things that make life what it is for us today. And so we have a mandate from God to do that. We're answerable to it. But that's why we need to do good research. But uh, we need to ground that based on what God has told us and honor him as we, as we do it. And that's, that's what I've been involved with now uh, for over 30 years.